Hello grade 8 students. In this video, we're going to talk about our new lesson about the ABO system, about the blood groups. Okay? So blood groups, talking about the different blood groups. So we have four different blood groups. We have blood group A, we have blood group B, and blood group AB, and blood group O. So mixing blood from two different individuals may lead to something called agglutination. Agglutination, so these will have fatal consequences and may lead to the death of the individual. Blood groups, blood typing, and transfusion. The first one to identify the blood pumping was the Carl Landesteiner, which occurs when the receiver of the blood has antibodies against the donor. The donor, we said that, is the one that donates, while the, the recipient is the one that receives. Okay? So let's talk about the blood. An adult human has about four to six liters of blood. So we have, an, as an adult, you're not an adult, me as an adult, about four to six liters of blood circulating in my body. Okay? Among others, we have blood transport oxygen to various parts of the body. Blood consists of several types of cells. The red blood cells contain hemoglobin, a protein that binds to oxygen. So hemoglobin is a protein that binds to oxygen. Red blood cells transport oxygen to the cell and remove carbon dioxide from the cells. You have to know that the white blood cells, they have a role in immunity. They have fight infections. Also white blood cells, they are called immune cells because they have a role in immunity. Platelets, they have the blood to clot, if you have a wand, for example. And we have the plasma to contain salts and various kinds of proteins. The difference in human body cells are due to the presence or absence of antigens and antibodies. So the antigens, they are located on the surface of the red blood cells where the plasma, they are found in the, uh, and the antibodies, sorry, they are found in the plasma. So what happens and what do we have and what are the different combinations? The blood group you belong to depends on what you have inherited from your parents. So according to the blood or the ABO blood type system, ABO system, we have four blood groups. Blood group A, blood group B, blood group AB, and the blood group O. Let's start first with the blood group A. If you belong, for example, let's say Karim has blood group A. So Karim has antigen A and antibodies opposite to the A, which are antibodies B. So blood group contains the same type of antigens, but different antibodies. So if I have blood group A, Blood group A means that I have antigen A and antibody B, while I am blood group B. So I have antigen B, and the antibody should not be as the same as the antigen. So the, the antibody is going to be antibody A. Moving to blood group AB, for example, Mr. Muhammad has blood group AB. So I have blood group AB, I have both antigens. I have antigen A and I have antigen B. Oh, what is about antibodies? What about antibodies? What antibodies do Mr. Muhammad have? So I have antigen A and antigen B. And we know that antigens and their corresponding antibodies should not be in the same blood. So if I have antigen A and antigen B, meaning that I should not have antibodies A or antibodies B. So in my body, a blood group AB, I have only antigen A and antigen B without antibodies. Moving to the last group, blood group O. Blood group O is also called null group. Why? Because it has no antigen, null. So no antigens. So I have no antigen A nor antigen B, but I have both antibodies, A and B. Okay, let's move now 
to our age factor. Our age factor determines whether I am positive or I am negative. If I have the RH antigen, so I am positive. If I don't have it, so I am negative. A person with RH minus does not have RH antibodies. Okay? A person with RH minus can develop RH antibodies if he or she receives blood with RH plus. This is for general information. Blood group notation. According to the above blood group system, you can belong to either one of these eight blood groups. A or H plus, meaning that A positive, or A or H minus, meaning that A negative, B or H plus, meaning that I am B positive, or B or H minus, meaning that I am B negative. A, B or H plus, meaning that I am A, B positive, a, B, R, H minus, meaning that A, B negative. O, R, H plus, meaning that I am O positive. Or O, R, H minus, meaning that I am O negative. Of course, you can always give a blood to persons with blood group A. B, blood to a person of the blood group B. So blood group A can give blood group A. Blood group B can give blood group B and so on. But in some cases, you can receive blood with another type of blood group or you can donate. Receive means that I can take. Donate, I can give. The transfusion works only. The transfusion of blood will work if a person who's going to receive, meaning that the recipient has a blood group that doesn't have antibodies to that of the blood group antigen. Kindly know that antigens, they have another name. It's called agglutinogen. While antibodies, they have another name. They are called agglutinins. So, but the person who's going to receive the antibodies matching the blood antigen, so we have agglutination. So if I have the antigen and the antibody, they meet together, we will have a reactional company, which is called agglutination. Be careful. So this is slide. This is the most important slide in this lesson. Mr. Muhammad has blood group A B. So Mr. Muhammad has antigens like the blood group has antigen A and antigen B. And antibodies none. No antibodies. And I can give blood to blood group AB while I can receive blood from AB, A, 